watching ATV and we are about to get dirt paid. <laughs> All right, welcome back to another episode of ATV, folks. What's going on this weekend? It's North Augusta. Wheels are churning. Actually, giveaway draw. That is going rather well, I'd like to think. Close to two weeks in, and we got half the tickets are uh, just tickets or so. But yeah, the tickets are available, boys, so get on. He's in a world of hurt, boy. Look at the Remy. Oh my God, look at how thick that shit is. Yeah, that's uh, CF Moto's new uh, 
mud edition bike. They haven't got it at market yet, but there it is. What's this you got here, man? I've been CF following. Moto. I've been following these quite closely. So but. that's the mud edition that we built with CF Moto. Okay, you guys had a part in this? Yeah. So uh, with Yannick, uh, uh, every time there's a camera, he run away. Yeah, of course. <laughs> that's, all, that's how it works. Yeah. So we took a C. Uh, Force 800 uh, XC, yeah. and we built the entire thing with uh, Yannick Bergeron's knowledge. We went with uh, Super ATV Terminator. Tried and true, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we put El Cachac Stage 3 on them. Same thing I got on the Renegade, boys. We also installed the CF Moto Snorkel Kit, okay. the Bazooka Soundbar. Oh yeah, check that out. I like this. Yeah, so we had to remove the witch, reduce the weight, and also we put a pipe on it. That's a new product that CF Moto's working on, actually. Good man, looks real good. Yeah. Clutching is uh, CB, CB Tech, tech. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Stock. We got it uh, cracked. Flash. Uh, yeah, free flash. Yeah. Uh, full yeah, paper handlebar. Awesome. Yeah. It's a really nice looking unit, man. Yeah, they've and done a great job. Went to my national with it. Yes. And we've been really impressed with the result. Yeah, keep yeah. up and compete, right? Exactly. So, yeah, absolutely. So, their objective is basically uh, to put research and development in those machines. Yeah. I started following your page, saw you guys, and I was like, you know what? They're the ones doing the research yeah, and development. He's the genius behind this. That's awesome. Joel, man. Yes, yeah. Man, it's nice to meet you in person. Hey, actually, we've yeah, yeah. on Facebook uh -huh. a few times, I think, eh? Let's check her out, boys. So, there's actually a second link in it. That's the one I'm riding. It's uh, basically the same thing. Yes. Except that we have two color. Uh, yeah, two, two color two combinations, two exactly. decal wraps, yeah. Exactly. So, you have the white one. Yep. Yeah. And the black one. Super sharp, man. Super sharp. Oh. It's nice to see somebody else come out with a, or get on the bandwagon. Pretty good machine. And also, it's only serious to set one thousand. That we built. Yeah, very So nice. we went with Delta Stage 4. Race line wheels. ATP cryptid on it. Yes. Is it 30s or? Uh, 28s. 30s, yeah. 30 yeah, by 9s. Yeah, at the beginning, yeah. we had 32. You did, eh? Yeah. Uh, but we had to go down even. Perform a little better with the clutch and, and the setup. Exactly. Yeah. But also the Elko was giving us two inch of lifting. Yes. But two inch wasn't enough with the 32. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. instead of going with the uh, lift kit, we just went with the Elko stage uh, four on them. Yeah. Uh, Radarilla. Radarilla, okay. Yeah. yeah. That actually is really nice. Really nice. Yeah. All custom work too, eh, boys? Yeah. Yes, but uh, we got to change all the piping. Engineer a second type that we're gonna put on all of them. Yep. With uh, high density PVC. Yep. Uh, race line wheel. Is there a pipe on this one too? There is, eh? Uh, yep. Yep, right on. That's the awesome. Same one. same one, yep. Developed by CF Moto. Yep. Cool. Bazooka sound bar too. Yep, right on. Please and also, that's the racing uh, rooftop for CF Moto. Aluminum or no plastic? La uh, plastic. Plastic. Very, well, plastic, okay. Very yep. lightweight. Yep. So, yeah. Uh, uh, it needs a little bit of fitting. Yeah. So you have a special bracket to attach to it. Oh, and also we though. went with a slasher LED bar. Oh, I like that bar. Look how thin that is, eh? Yeah. That's yeah, really nice. Everything. Yeah. Works yeah. good, eh? Yep. CB Tech Lodge also. Yep. Yeah. I like the built-in bumper too. Like that, that's good. That's yeah, but solid. it's come, the, the CF model comes with that from the, from the factory. factory. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, bang for the some buck. Nice touches. Quality. Yep. Some really nice touches on these units, man. Yes. Me too, man. I'm looking forward to seeing some out on the trail and maybe getting an opportunity to try one out. Bah, That's you awesome. Have your, your opportunity right now. There you go, buddy. Hey, <laughs> now, well, we, well, maybe we'll take you up on that. No. Wait, thank you. <laughs> I like the handlebars already. I like the pro tapers. I can tell just by putting my hands on them, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a nice bar. That's killer, man. Just like that. Huh? <laughs> Oh, the kill switch is probably on. Yeah, exactly. No, yeah. you got signal yeah. lights on this yeah. bad boy. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, and also the horn. Yeah, yeah because in uh, Europe, obviously, they're road legal, right? Yeah, they shift gears, you have to push on the foot brake, and it's going to be easier to shift the gear. Okay. They got to let these things be road legal here. That would be, uh, that would be cool. awesome. If I could go to work in that, boys, yeah. hi, gear. All right, boys, our first impressions of the uh, C-Force 800, and this is the mud edition. These guys have worked their ass off 
to make this thing an enjoyable ride. Right on, man. Boss, we'll be right back. symbol here that's an issue okay so that's going to be four by you're jumping over but you're not really changing so we'd like to see a change there see that from there there's got to be a symbol i'm missing i bet you there's a circle for front depth yes there is okay so that's four by that's two we got her where we got her and the boys have put a diff lock which is awesome great job all right man let's check out the CF photo I see that the boys, what the boys are talking about, saying they're trying to sap whatever energy out of this engine that they can, and working very hard to do so. Oh my god, the elk is working. That's what happens when you have to set up for a machine like that. That's just... boys close to a bottom out not quite the close so we'll probably not send it off that ledge super firm seat 
boy. That is as firm as you get, right there. What have we stumbled into here? I didn't even know about this area. Think of the low gear, boys. This big beast, the wheelie, I bet you. We bring it off this hump, we might get a little bit. Maybe. We're gonna go with the low.
Should we take their bike through there? This is not my bike. But that looks beautiful. Look, there's even ducks in it. I think we need to come back with the Renegade. We may have to come back with the Renegade. Yeah. shot trail unless I'm losing my mind but uh which is possible boys ah uh, huge shout out to the boys man letting me do this I very much appreciate it and wanted to get my hands on this unit just to, to see what she's like it's just pretty good you just gotta use the brake like recommended Because 
I think overall the length and the weight of the bike makes it feel more sluggish than what it is. It seems to be doing a lot more back there yeah, than what it feels like. And I think the CV tech is quite like that. There she is, boys. She's not even a market yet. But that is the concept mud build for CF Moto and uh, some pretty killer machines. Right on. All right, boys, we'll be back. Sebastian, thanks so much, man. That was a lot of fun. Oh, yeah? So yeah? What's your first impression on it? I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed. Um, more so with the low end. I like the low gear. I actually would rip this in low gear probably like you guys got it going up to 50 some odd. Like that, that's that's yeah, crazy. Yeah, that's sick as of the ACU. But it, it's revving nice and low. Um, maybe on the high gear, it's lacking a little mid to, to to top end. Like you guys are saying, you're working with so much, you're trying to cram and pull out of that engine. But the fit and finish, the way you guys are throwing all the parts on it, it works mint. It handles great. It's a really smooth running machine, man. I'm super impressed. I really appreciate it. I really am. I'm yeah. super impressed. I knew I would be though. I had a feeling. 